Want to hear about my first day in coding boot camp? Well, stay tuned. Maybe I don't understand it. You're changing more against it. My progress ain't just damning. All right, so we're back, guys. Thanks again for sticking with me. Uh, this is, uh, I think, episode four or five or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll make sure that I put the title up there properly. So. I uh, wanted to actually go over my first day, so I apologize for not uploading in a while. I know it's been, I, I want to say, about a week before I updated, but I wanted to make sure that I at least got through the first day and just to get my thoughts together on how it went and everything before I uploaded another video. So, uh, yesterday was the first day of Lambda School for me uh, for the CS, FSW. They, they kind of changed our cohort name, so. Uh, because all of the classes do um, computer science, it wasn't really fair for just the full stack to be considered CS. So they changed the name. So now we're uh, full stack uh, web development. Uh, that's our, our cohort name. So I'm part of uh, FSW14 uh, as of right now, but I think the name will change about 17 times throughout the uh, cohort's life. And so we'll find out later on what we are. But right now I'm part of cohort 14 so uh, that's good enough uh, but yesterday was actually fairly simple very easy nice and chill and relaxed the instructor did a very good job of trying to ease everybody as to how everything was he made it uh, known that not everybody's born a programmer you know he actually didn't start in programming he started doing something completely different and kind of just uh, fell into it after he saw other programmers and you know what they did and he decided he wanted to give it a try so uh, real cool dude uh, very knowledgeable you know so he would go about his lecture for a good like I want to say 15 20 minutes or so and then stop and check all the questions that everybody would put down on the slack channel uh, and if you don't know what slack is slack is pretty much like discord um, it's a more professional looking version does almost almost all the same thing so um, it's pretty much the same thing except businesses like to use slack for some reason I know it's got a paid service so I guess that's why they like it maybe it, you it, it can hold more people I don't know but um, yeah so we'll usually put our questions like about anything he covered in the lecture uh, we'll put it in the slack and then after he does his lecture for about 20 minutes he'll stop and check it and then uh, every 45 minutes or so um, uh, give or take a few minutes he'll try to give us like a five minute break and me personally within those five minutes I'll start working out I'll do uh, it gives me just enough time to do some push-ups some crunches things like that uh, try to get the blood flowing and keep me awake I also made the mistake of making uh, I want to say like like half a gallon of coffee which I probably won't do again uh, <laughs> just because I was pretty damn hype I'm not even gonna lie I'm like I'm already hype as it is uh, about the school but at this point I was just about to explode out of my chair so don't do that <laughs> uh, it ain't that serious and so uh, real chill you know environment um, he gave us uh, like five like the first one was like a five minute project just to uh, kind of apply what he taught so it's like he teaches shows you some stuff and then you go in you try it and then uh, he goes back, teaches some more, and then the next one will be like a 10 minute, you know, project uh, just to apply the stuff that, that he just taught. So, real cool way to teach, you know. I, did, I honestly didn't think that it would work out as well because um, when I watch like tutorial videos, like I'll see what they're doing, and a lot of times I'm doing it as they're doing it, pausing the video and all that, and you know and, and honestly it's hard to retain knowledge that way because even though yeah you're applying it you're not really understanding what you're applying but in this sense because you can stop and ask him and he'll give you uh, answers and they also have PMs that are pretty good at making sure that everybody's answered everybody's questions are answered and you also have other students that will answer your questions so a uh, real real good environment to get questions answered and get help when you need it uh, so after about uh, I want to say the lecture probably ran uh, maybe three hours or so uh, because it also included his introduction and everything so then we took an hour lunch uh, to which you know I went and ate uh, didn't do any workout during that time I know some people went off for a run 
uh, some people went out for a walk and all that, but it's pretty good to just get away from your computer, you know, I just honestly, in all honestly, uh, I just went out uh, to my, to my uh, dining room area and ate lunch and watched anime, that's it, that's all I did, so, <laughs> and then I came back, uh, I made a few phone calls or whatever, but then I came back and it was project time. So we had about three and a half hours or so of project time, which is more than enough for what we covered, which was HTML and CSS and uh, more than enough. And at first I was like, you know, this is a little bit too much time. But then I realized, hey, you know, it's not just about uh, HTML, CSS and getting your project done. Uh, it's also about uh, helping other students that might need it. Uh, getting to know other people in your uh, in the school, you know, got to know uh, some of the PMs and the other uh, students that are going to be in there with me. So uh, we had a nice little talk about what kind of coding music everybody listens to, which to me is pretty cool because a lot of people like to listen to real uh, chill music. I personally like to listen to some lo-fi hip hop uh, beat, uh, kind of mixed between that and some type of jazz or something like that, just to. Uh, just to give me something to listen to while I'm while I'm coding because um, I have attention issues and so if I'm sitting here typing for a while uh, and especially if it's not something very challenging then my mind will just instantly get drawn to my cell phone or something like that which I put it on do not disturb for the entire time so even though I don't get notifications or anything on my phone this damn Windows 10 doesn't give a crap about that so the notifications still pop up on my screen <laughs> so I mean it kind of works out I guess uh, in case of a Facebook emergency just put a notification on my on my Facebook page and I might see it on my on my uh, PC but yeah so the day the first day's project was uh, you got some markup from just plain HTML and we did all our coding on CodePen so we didn't use our, uh, our IDEs or anything, no text editors, everything was done on CodePen. And from there you just uh, you style that, that web page uh, based on the image that you're given. So you're given an image and they want you to style it to that. Now it's a lot simpler than that sounds just because they pretty much wrote down in pseudocode what they want you to do. So all you have to do is just follow that pseudocode, you know, all the way from the top on down and you're pretty much done. The actual project itself took probably, I want to say maybe five to 10 minutes to do. Uh, then after that, you have the stretch, which is not something that's required, uh, although it's always beneficial for you to do it because it's extra stuff outside of what you're being asked. And a lot of times it has stuff that you end up having to look things up for. Uh, so it's very beneficial. In this case, the stretch was pretty much just do whatever you want with the CSS. Make it a completely different website uh, without touching the HTML. Um, and so I got to see a lot of the cool stuff that a lot of the other students did, which you know kind of prompted me to look at my own work and be like, hey, let me tweak this a little bit, you know, and also based on their feedback and you know stuff that they were saying. And it also gave us time to uh, help each other out. Uh, whenever we saw an issue, uh, we would just go in there and type it, hey, you could probably do this or try this out or whatever. Uh, so it was pretty cool. Um, a lot of the lot of the worries that I had and anxiety that I had for the first day kind of just kind of eased away. They're not fully gone, so I'm still a little bit nervous because I know that as you go through it, it's going to get harder and harder. And I have seven months of this. And so, <laughs> you know... If they start hard from the very beginning, then that would be rough. So I'm glad that at least the first day they took it easy on us and, you know, they didn't just punch you in the face immediately. So that was uh, pretty good. So after that, we had uh, fill out the forms um, where you pretty much tell them like where you're at mentally. Uh, if there were, if there were any blockers that kept you from being able to uh, perform or learning anything, uh, any issues you might have. Uh, any projects you didn't get to finish, things like that. So you fill out that form, give them feedback, and they pretty much work really fast based on that feedback. A lot of the curriculums um, from the previous cohorts, to my knowledge, have changed uh, very quickly based on people's feedback. And so they're only getting better and better. Um, then after that, we got into our small groups, which I believe uh, we have about nine members. 
and uh, our two PMs. And so we got into our groups and we talked about any issues that we had. Um, obviously with CSS and HTML, not a lot of people had a lot to say, so not a lot of issues. And you know, that's a good thing, you know. Um, you want people to be comfortable, especially with the easier stuff. Uh, even the people who weren't very uh, knowledgeable on, on, those so on those subjects didn't do too bad just because of Lambda's pre-course. Uh, the stuff that you have to do before you're even let into the school. So because of that, a lot of them were were uh, semi comfortable with the subject. Uh, nothing too crazy for them. So that was a good day. Uh, today, I believe we're going to be doing uh, the box model, um, which padding and margin and and border isn't that bad on its own until somebody starts telling you to put one box over here and then two boxes over here and maybe a third box over here or something like that and then make it responsive so when you shrink the uh when you shrink the website it all just kind of just plops itself below it or something like that once people start telling you stuff like that then it becomes a problem because it confuses everybody and so uh we're gonna i think we're gonna be doing that as well as media queries today you know just from what i from what i saw in the curriculum which uh, I'm not 100% comfortable with, but at the same time, I don't think that's my weakest point. Uh, I per personally prefer to be doing a CSS on my own without Bootstrap and, uh, and Flexbox. I like to brave the storm like that, but not everybody does. And so uh, we'll see. Uh, I know Lambda has a kind of like a model where uh, they want you to know how to do everything without the framework just because a lot of people do tend to use the framework as a scapegoat just because they're not good at this and so they'll use a framework if you don't know how to do this a lot of people tend to just go straight for bootstrap you know and it shouldn't really be that way bootstrap should be a way to help you not necessarily just skip over an entire lesson that you need to learn so I believe that lambda is trying to make sure that everybody knows how to do it you know and so we'll see today what they cover uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated uh, on a daily if possible. There there probably be some days where I'm just going to be super busy with it and not be able to do it. But I'll do my best to at least do it maybe like at, at most uh, maybe three videos a week. Letting you guys know uh, where we're at. Alright. Catch you guys next time. Make sure you guys uh, like the video and subscribe. And see you guys later.